Keeping your pool's water chemistry balanced is important, but you actually don't have to buy every chemical that's recommended. In fact, you can find cheaper substitutions at the grocery store. And there are some pool chemicals you can even avoid buying altogether, even chlorine. So here are six pool chemicals you can stop buying right now and what you should buy instead. Let's dive in. Real quick, if you want more help taking care of your pool, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. It's totally free and will help keep your pool clean and clear all season long. Number one, alkalinity increaser. This chemical has just one active ingredient, sodium bicarbonate. And sodium bicarbonate is just baking soda. Adding baking soda to your water will raise your alkalinity levels, and it's less expensive than alkalinity increaser that's sold at the pool store. If you have a 10,000 gallon pool, it'll take about 1.5 pounds of baking soda to raise your alkalinity by 10 parts per million. Keep in mind that baking soda will also slightly raise your pH. Number two, pH increaser. This chemical's active ingredient is sodium carbonate. This is also known as soda ash, and you can buy this cheaper alternative in the laundry aisle and use it to raise your pH. You can also use borate, AKA borax, to bring up your pH levels. Just make sure you get the pure form of these chemicals without any additives. Soda ash will also slightly raise your alkalinity, while borax will only raise your pH. So use soda ash if you need to bring up both your pH and your alkalinity, and borax just to stabilize your pH. Finally, you can bring up your pH levels without any chemicals at all. Aerating the water with a water fountain or water feature will naturally raise your pH levels without affecting your alkalinity and without having to add anything to your water. Number three, pH decreaser. Also known as sodium bisulfate or dry acid, pH decreaser helps to bring down your pH, but you can also use muriatic acid for the same effect. If you already have muriatic acid on hand for cleaning surface stains or pool filters, you can use it to lower your pH as well. Just keep in mind that it is more hazardous to handle than pH decreaser. If you have a standard sized pool around 15,000 gallons and your pH is above 7.8, start by adding one quart of muriatic acid. If you have a smaller pool, add one cup of muriatic acid at a time. Number four, chlorine stabilizer. Chlorine stabilizer, also known as cyanuric acid, helps to protect your chlorine from breaking down under the sun's UV rays. But if you're already using chlorine tablets or granules in your water, your chlorine is already stabilized. And if you have an indoor pool or a bromine pool, you don't need to worry about your cyanuric acid level. Number five, calcium hardness. Keeping your calcium hardness balanced is important for the long-term health of your pool. But if you take down your pool every year, you don't need to worry about adding calcium hardness. That's because the erosion from low calcium hardness levels happen over a longer period of time. Number six, phosphate remover. This chemical is marketed as a way to starve algae by removing its food source, in this case, phosphates. But if you regularly clean your pool, balance your water chemistry, and shock your water weekly, algae won't grow and shouldn't need phosphate removers. Finally, here's a bonus tip on how to stop buying chlorine. While you need some sanitizer in your water, here's how you can avoid buying chlorine or at least a lot less than normal. Number one, use a salt water system. You can stop buying chlorine altogether by making it yourself with salt. That's right, salt water pools are actually still chlorine pools. When salt is added to your water, it passes through a salt water generator and gets converted to chlorine. So while technically you still have a chlorine pool, you can stop buying and adding chlorine directly to your water and use salt instead. Number two, install a mineral system or ozonator. Both systems reduce the amount of chlorine you need. You'll only need 0.5 to one part per million of chlorine compared to the normal three parts per million. So while you still need to buy some chlorine, it'll help drastically reduce the amount. If you need more help with pool maintenance, be sure to grab our free pool care cheat sheet at swimuniversity.com slash cheat sheet. And if you found this video helpful, subscribe for more pool maintenance tutorials throughout the season. That's it. Thanks again and happy swimming.